I'm Manuel Hernandez and welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central, welcome back to another video. And Norwich have signed another player. Who would have thought Norwich City would be active in the transfer market? They signed Duda yesterday and now they signed Rupp. Really liking the sound of these names. Um, uh, Lucas Rupp signs for Norwich City on an undisclosed fee, although the fee is believed to be around £500,000. And who is he? He's a German international twenty in his late 20s, 28 years old. Uh, he plays central midfield. He seems to be a box-to-box -box midfielder. I don't think he's necessarily someone who's going to be a defensive midfielder like Teti or Amadou, but he certainly seems to be someone who could play in that Mo Leitner role, Mario Rancic role. It seems to me that he could be a replacement replacement for Mo Leitner. Yeah, a well-rounded player. Um, not necessarily amazing at anything in terms of his defensive work or his goal-scoring ability, but seems to be well-rounded. Someone who reminds me of Mo Leitner, as I said. And hopefully he can fit into Norwich City really well. Box-to-box um, -box midfielder. I, I, I feel like he's going to be someone for next season, though. Signed for 500k. Based upon what people are saying, everyone's not 100% sure whether he's going to be able to step up to the Premier League level. But for someone next season, he could have an impact. Um I think du when you compare Duda and Roop, I think Duda is someone who can have a bigger short-term impact. He's, Duda seems to have someone who's had a more better career, but obviously he's only going to be here from till the end of the season, unless Norwich City stay up, in which we might sign him permanently. Lucas Roop, two, two and a half year contract deal, seems to be someone who's going to be a long-term replacement here at Norwich City Football Club. And as I said, I do like the look of him. My one reservation, one reservation with him, though, is his injury career. He's played... Three or four, uh, the last three or four seasons, he's played, I think, around 35 games and scored four goals. I've put this, put his uh, record up there. He's someone who's been hit by injuries, um, and that's re obviously really disappointing to see. You, you don't want players who are going to be hit by injuries and going to have injury concerns. But as I said, when he does play, he seems to be a very good player. He's played at the highest level in Germany, just like Dudu in the Bundesliga. He's played for Hoffenheim and scored, you know, a few goals, a few goals in a season. And he's a central midfielder who, who who's rated rated quite highly but as i said i'm in terms of his short-term impact at norris city in the premier league i'm not sure he's going to play too much but in the long term he could be someone who really flourishes at norris city and as i said i expect him to play in that kind of mo light and mario ranchich role if given the chance at norris city can play central midfield can play attacking midfield can also can play, also can play on the right but his natural position seems to play in that central midfield role and yeah he looks like a good sign he looks like a good squad player for five hundred thousand pounds uh, as I said with his stats, see, he's a, he's a well-rounded player, good box-to-box -box midfielder. My one reservation with him, though, is that he has has had a many injury concerns over his time at Norwich City. But you've got to trust the regime. And do I trust Stuart Webber? Of course I do. I think Stuart Webber is the right man with, with Norwich City. Uh, he kind of fits our transfer policy as well. We kind of like to bring in young players or players abroad for cheap for cheap money who have had really promising careers but haven't perhaps quite hit their potential. Um, and yes, as I said, I'm really excited by him and I trust Stuart Webber. I think he's the right man. Some of the signings he's made with our limited budget is excellent. And when, we, when we're a club like Norris City and we haven't got a lot of money, you want someone like Stuart Webber at the club who can pick out these bargains and, 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 and you know develop these players and sell them on for big fees. Daniel Farquhar as well, someone who uh, can develop youngsters and sell them on for big fees. He's not a youngster. But he seems to be like a really shrewd bit of business and I think he can do really well at Norris City. Will he play against Bournemouth next week? Probably not. Um, I've actually very much doubted it and I don't think Duda will as well. I'm not sure about his match fitness. I'm going to be at Bournemouth then. I'm really excited to be going to the game. It's going to be a big game and a, a game in which Norris City really have to get the three points. Otherwise, it is probably going to be curtains for them up against a very poor Bournemouth side. But yes, the signing of Lucas Rip on a two and a half year deal for 500000 Five hundred thousand um, pounds. Leave me your thoughts down below. So close to three thousand subscribers. So thank you for all the support, um, and I'll see you later.